So, yeah, welcome to eGroup Wear, a smart online office integration. So, different to the most talks before, eGroup Wear in general is more focused on storing data in our application, interlinking the data between the different applications, and so offering mostly complete office in the web browser, including Collabora online office. And using all data also in documents with those copy pasting, but that's something I come back later in detail. So I'd like to show a few or short introduction of eGroupware and the integration of Collabora online in eGroupware, our file manager sharing options and what we call the power of eGroupware, that you can use every data you store in eGroupware um, directly in Office documents and use it in Office documents. And I prepared a case study with some examples from us, from customers, showing how these working with the data works um, in the Office documents. So eGroupware in general, we are reseller like most others here for Collabora Online. We have a Collabora Online hosting um, based on our Kubernetes cluster. We have own Collabora installation packages, including um, Docker packages and the watchtower for updates. And these um, installations can be done with eGroupware or also standalone. So we have, for example, a few customers using Nextcloud, but our Collabora packages. And um, for sure, we're also supporting the integration in that regard. So we are, our company is located in Kaiserslautern, Germany. We have data centers for our hosting in Frankfurt and Karlsruhe. And um, additionally to the SAS hosting, we offer installation packages for customers who want to run it in their own data centers. And this also includes if these things are based on um, Docker, that there is a watchtower for the automatic update process. Um, we have two different versions, the community version and the EPL version, which has additional business functionalities and we are supporting offering training courses consulting and for sure also everything around development custom de development um, for customers yeah eGroupware the main applications are standard groupware functionalities like mail tasks calendar contacts crm views but we have a lot more so we have file manager file sharing we have a kanban board integrated in eGroupware, which is or can use all data again which is stored in eGroupware. we have project management time recording tracking system integrated resource management working together with a calendar we have video supported learning our small part and a lot of other applications but as we're a smaller company we also I um, think that it makes sense not to develop everything on our own. So we have a lot of integrations like video conferences with Jitsi or Big Blue Button, um, Rocket Chat for, as a chat so solution, also with uh, video conferencing directly enabled. We have our, the Collabora online office integrated for office documents and we have telephony integration. We can, with OpenID Connect, connect to several other applications, which then can also be shown under the platform of eGroupware. So for example, also um, Apache Guacamole, so that if the company has Office PCs with specific applications running, they can be securely viewed with a web browser and second factor authentication and all these things. And um, Collabora in eGroupware. So our file manager for sure is the base of working with documents and sharing. 
and Ecuva acts as a file server. So you can mount directly via SMB or WebDAV in Ecuva. So we have a few customers using Ecuva and xCloud or other cloud solutions. And as soon as it's one of the protocols we support, they can also be mounted into Ecuva, which means on the other hand, even if on that other solution, Collabora Online is not included or configured, is it's mounted in eGroup where files from there can also be opened with Collabora Online. eGroup where itself in the file manager supports versioning and deletion protection. We offer access via WebDAV, also for files linked to contacts, projects, tasks, whatever. And as we are talking WebDAV, any local WebDAV client um, can also be used to mount it locally and open it with any desktop client. And for sh file sharing, everything can also be opened with Collabora Online. So file sharing in general is pretty easy. You mark your folder or file, share it via mail or create a link and share it via Rocket Chat or whatever other application you have for sharing. And if it's there, that's on the left-hand side, that's how a small share may look like. You can still open things with Collabora online directly, even if you share it with someone external. And as a part of the integration from Collabora Online, we also have um, the sharing, the safe as dialog or email documents um, directly in Collabora Online. So if I'm writing a document, I can directly share it, mail it, or save it somewhere in File Manager. Yeah. So let's go into what we call the power of eGroup where that every data can be used in office documents we can create templates and templates not in a meaning of opening an empty document styled like this or that the templates can have placeholders of all applications and then you can merge eGroup where data with your template and get it directly inserted where the placeholder was before like you know it from office documents uh, for a serial letter or something like that but it can be done with all data no matter if it's a project or a contact or a task or a calendar and it can also be done with emails so um, everything can be merged into office documents or mails and it doesn't matter where or from where you call it so it doesn't matter if I'm in my address book list and I want to merge the contact data into my document or if I'm in the CRM view and like to merge it there, um, it's always the same. Or I have a Kanban board with my key accounts and I'm working with them and all the templates and documents I have been prepared before. So um, more to say everything what you need more often makes sense to have it as a template and use it. So one of the examples I have is for Collabora Online itself. You can create templates and store it in a template folder. We call it Template Collabora. And if you add there your logo, your fonts, your borders and create a new document, whatever you stored in that template will be used for creating new documents. Or here again to show um, that's my contact. I use insert into document. I select the file I want to have and it gets merged with the new SDK integration, which is coming with the next eGroup version. You can also directly merge things into PDF file. So everything which was defined in your template and the data and you get directly the PDF out and it's stored in file manager and can be shared. This is how placeholders look like, example from address book. So you have all data from the address book available. You can create custom fields in eGroupware, which means if there is something what you don't have by default, just create it. And there are a lot of 
general fields like creative statements to insert data or some letter prefix things um, where you want to create something specific or show me all attachments from a file that can be done easily. So this is an example from a customer using project manager intensely. They have something created for their project details where they have their location and it gets merged and shows the location of the contact, which is a link to the contact stored in the address book. So I have it once and can use it from every project or showing here, um, show me all attachments and then it lists all attachments. Um, another thing here that does not only work in um, text document that also works in um, spreadsheets. So if you want to get a report, you just create a spreadsheet form. There is a page repeat, so which means for my report, everything gets repeated and displayed. That's what you see on the lower slide. Now, again, coming with the next version, we directly have the option when you're working with Collabora online, you can directly insert placeholders by clicking on the icon. The idea is it will come also in the site menu, but that's something we have to work on. Um, and then you select it's a placeholder coming from a trust book, the business address, select the placeholder, insert it or even select your entry and insert the data directly. And if we're working with templates, it gets merged into my template. Same here, selecting full contact address, just select what you want to get into, select your entry, merge it into different kind of um, things here. And now I'd like to show a few more examples, more concrete examples, what we're using ourselves, what customers using, for example, creating offers, creating invoices, doing mailing, doing reports. And so the typical workflow when you work with eGrouper is you somehow store your contact data in different address books for trials, offers, customers, each created from an incoming email, you're creating info logs, which is an abbreviation of our info lock box, which means every thing, every connection to a customer gets documented and it gets automatically linked to the customer. And then you can view everything in the CRM view. And then we have the insert in document working with our documents, merging the data into the documents, maybe changing some numbers, storing it as a PDF, send it back to the customer and creating an info log so that it updates the CRM view and is available from everywhere. Now a concrete example, it's a simple one. It's a spreadsheet with some easy placeholders showing the organization name and the name of the contact. It gets merged into with the customer data. We are changing the numbers for the amount of licenses the guy wants to, to buy, we are changing the name and save it as PDF and then send it via email to the customer. Again, create directly an info log out of it and it updates in our CRM view. So everybody in the office team knows what happens all the time. So as I said before, we are more concentrated on working with the data than really working on files. But for sure, as we are using Collabora Online, that's also something what you can do at any time. So that's another example of an invoice. We have a specific info log type with custom fields and we have a template which uses the custom fields from the info log and the linked contact which inserts then the data into the invoice when it gets more merged, then it gets again stored as PDF, sent to the customer and so on. And for sure for the reporting, again, 
we have a report sheet with some summarizing so you can select all invoices of the last months and directly what's already paid, what's outstanding, what's overdue based on the date when it was created or the status, if it's already done or um, overdue and it automatically creates whatever you need and you save it wherever in whatever folder where whoever should have access to. And that's a quick um, other example. So now with some email templates, what we have in use. So also in the emails, you can have on use the placeholders and it gets replaced. That even works for serial emailings. So you can have personalized emails, send it out and also these things directly store it in the info log to document what you did. So the focus of eGroupware is using data efficiently, but for sure also having all options from file manager, sharing, and these things available to work with the documents also together in a team. Brilliant. Thank you, Bridget. Is that, is that, that's, that's where we get to. It's just some exciting stuff. Cool. Well, yeah, I think we'll get a chance for some questions in, in a minute. Um, first, we've got, uh, I think, well, unless there are any questions now, uh, does anyone want to um, ask anything offhand? It looks really impressive, the templating stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm really happy if someone likes more information or likes to try it yourself, just send us an email. We are creating a trial in our hosting, use it or just install it from Univention or whatever. Um, as a Docker container, you can run it in any VM, just try it out. And um, yeah, as I said, it's more about working with data than just working with files. Wonderful. Thank you, Bridget. Yes. Maybe Great I have one, one last question. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, because there was a lot of people uh, quite interested in the placeholders and I was as, as well. So I wonder uh, what, what's the type of content that those placeholders can hold? Everything, <laughs> uh -huh. nearly everything. So um, in general, the placeholders can be based on text fields or floats or HTML. And as we are knowing from the database what kind of field that is, it gets correctly replaced also in the document. So for example, if there are numbers or dates, they get merged into the document as numbers or dates. So even because if not, oh, it wouldn't awesome. work to summarize something and count numbers. Um, that also works with custom fields because also custom field type knows um, this is a number or it's a date or it's a text field. So it's really nearly everything can also work in, in that regard with the placeholders. Cool. Cool. Well, that's great stuff, Bridget. Thank you. Um,